Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. We are back in the kitchen again and do I ever have a great recipe for you today. This recipe is for any fish that tastes overly fishy. So for example, like mackerel has a very strong fishy taste, so does bluefish, etc. So this recipe takes all that fishiness out of the fish and makes it taste absolutely delicious. And you know what? It's easy to do as all the Thunder Mist recipes are and it takes basic ingredients that you most likely have in your kitchen right now. Here's what it takes. So we're going to use three good teaspoons of olive oil. We've got some diced tomatoes here that we're going to use. The chili peppers are optional but a little bit of oregano, salt and pepper, two onions and two cloves of garlic. That's it. It's that simple. And when we're done with this, folks, you're going to have a fish tasting that is not fishy at all. And it's going to give you an opportunity to keep those fish that you normally wouldn't because they just taste too fishy. Those problems are gone. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to start off by slicing up some onion. And I like to slice them fairly thin. They cook up much, much nicer when they're sliced thin. So just take your two onions and slice them both up. Okay, both onions are now sliced and what we're going to do now is slice up the, uh, the garlic in the same way. So we'll take our garlic and again I like to do nice thin slices. We'll slice that one up and slice this one up. Perfect. Okay, we've got our garlic and our onion ready to go. Okay, so that was it for the prep work. How easy is that? Now all we got to do is add our three tablespoons of olive oil. Actually, I'm going to add three and a half for good measure. All right, our olive oil is in. We're going to take our onion and garlic. And what we want to do is we want to cook that up first. So. Okay, it's come up to a nice heat now. We're going to fry these onion and garlic together for about two to three minutes. And what we want to do there is we just want to infuse that olive oil with all that flavor from the onions and the garlic. So two to three minutes just to get those flavors all incorporated. And then we'll go to the next step. The onions and the garlic are looking absolutely perfect. Now all we have to do is take our diced tomatoes and just pour them in. Now we'll just mix that all around, get all the flavors incorporated into that tomato. And this is where you're going to want to add your salt and your pepper is at this stage and the oregano. So basically what you're doing is you're seasoning the tomatoes. So as far as the salt, you're going to want to use about a, about a, I'm going to say a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of salt for that uh, tomato. And then just add your black pepper to taste, whatever you like. If you like a little more, go ahead and add a little more. If you like a little less, add a little less. Now, uh, the oregano, I like to sprinkle a little bit of oregano in there. Again, just to season those, uh, those tomato chunks. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, if you want, you can use an optional chili pepper. Uh, you don't have to, but I like to add just a little bit just to give a, a little hint of heat, just a bit. There we go. All right, now that's basically it. What we're gonna do now is mix this all up and we're gonna let this simmer over medium, medium to medium high heat for about 10, 10 to 15 minutes just to cook the tomatoes and the, make sure everything is cooked together and get those flavors, like I say, incorporated very, very nicely. So we're gonna let this uh, simmer for a good 10, 15 minutes. So our tomato has been cooking now for a good 10 minutes and it's looking absolutely fantastic. And today, what we're going to use today is, I've got some bluefish here. And bluefish, as you know, tastes very, very fishy, very, very strong tasting fish. Uh, mackerel, as I said, is a very strong tasting fish. Uh, but today we're going to cook uh, bluefish. And for that point, for that matter, you could cook any fish you want with this recipe, but it's particularly good for those stronger tasting fish because it removes the fishiness from them. So I've got some nice fillets here. What I did with these bluefish fillets, I trimmed that dark muscle meat off of the fillet because the dark muscle meat also adds a very strong 
uh, fishy taste as well. So I removed the dark muscle meat. And then what I did was I just cut the fillets in half. Uh, you could put them in whole. You could even put, if you have a mackerel, you could leave the whole mackerel whole or cut them up in chunks, however you prefer. And I also got a bonus handful of bluefish cheeks that I'm going to put in there as well. So all we do now is we just take our, our fish chunks just like so and just uh, go ahead and put them in the frying pan and we're going to turn mix the tomato all around and get the fish fillets covered with the mixture that we put together and of course let's not forget our our cheeks nice bluefish cheeks there alright so now we're gonna mix them together and all we do now is we're going to cook this fish for about another 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes on a low heat, 10 minutes. Depending on how high you have your heat, I'm going to have mine a little bit lower and I'm going to let it simmer for about 10, 15 minutes. And you'll be able to tell when the fish is cooked because it'll start to break apart a bit. So 10, 15 minutes should do it. Okay, it's looking like perfection right there. Now for the true test. The, the, the fish, the fillets are just starting to crack open a bit there, so I know that it's cooked perfectly. And now I have to give this a bit of a try. Let's give it a sample. Mm. Folks, if I didn't tell you this was bluefish I was cooking and I served it to you, you would never know it's bluefish. No fishy taste at all. I see a nice cheek here. I gotta try the cheek. This is unbelievable how how mild tasting this fish is. Oh my. If you're out in the water, there's nothing more rewarding than bringing home a catch and having a nice table fare and having a great dinner. And if you catch some fish that are known to be stronger tasting and fishy, feel free to take them home. Give this recipe a try. You will not be disappointed. This is a Thunder Mist uh, specialty recipe we've been using for years and it is absolutely fantastic. And you've seen how easy it was. Very little prep work, very simple ingredients and absolutely delicious. You'd never ever know this was a strong fishy tasting fish. I'm in for a great meal tonight folks. I hope wherever you are you get an opportunity to try this recipe and have some great meals yourself. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. As you know, it's always great to see you, and until next time, good luck and good fishing. I always take this nice marinade that we've made and be generous and just baste it over top of the, of the trout.